Okay. So this is it. It doesn't look good under the chandelier. Look at it. Look at my creation. I have no pants on. My shirt's backwards. <laughs> and my camera's cook it. So I got Oh, I got three scissors for $2 because I'm using it on paper. I'm not using my fabric scissors to be crazy. This is nice and cheap, you know, so good for paper. One, two, three, four coffee filters. I already have food coloring. I can't find it in an instant store. Usually you have to ask, and I was tired of asking where everything was. They had floral tape, so I bought three of these. This was for $109. It's basically a dollar in tax. And I got two different size stores, a huge one and a tiny one, both the same price. Then my hair is is um ready to be washed. Okay, so I dipped them in dye and then um, I um, put them in the oven, as she said, for 350 for half an hour. Um, the thing is, I should have did like less before because it's like really nice and um, well, I like the crumble feeling, but it's taking me to the top and then you know, a bit of wash on the bottom and in the middle. And especially for red. I want the red to be like this deep. Girl. But it's kind of like light red. I also like some of the burnt colors because burnt looks like um, rose or dying flowers. So it looks more realistic. But oh no! It's dead! Da -da -da. It's one of the better ones. Da, da, da. As soon as it touches here or I breathe in cold, I get sick. Well, that's why I'm wearing a scarf. Anyway, I'm going to start to at least do one um, flower before I get on with it. Look at all this. This is not all of it. I just can grab all of them. I should have made them scented. Okay, so we're going to make like the white one first. I'm going to use three since it's a smaller bud in the middle. Actually, I want that one on the outside. This is the orange one. Fold it on themselves. It's a lot of folding. And I'm going to take one of the scissors. I'm going to take the medium size one. I want them to be more even. Also, I like the crinkling of it after you bake it. It makes it more rose-like. If you're doing roses, it look really good as roses. Ugh, cheap scissors, so I have to use the back of here. And I'm gonna cut some longer and shorter as close as I can. Cheap scissors would be annoying for you, but who wants to use your expensive scissors to cut paper unless you're always doing this? Okay, look at that. I'll ruffle them up a little bit. They're nice. You're supposed to roll it all up on themselves. Now, since it's like a little bud in the middle for a pin, I still don't know how to say it. I didn't even look it up. I'm going to maybe. Do a fork of each, which is going to be hard because some is attached from here and here. So I'm going to roll up a fourth of the way because I don't want it to be too big. I think that's a fourth. Would that be enough for the middle of like a pinceta? I want to say pinata. That's why it takes me a while to learn how to say pinceta. So for now I'll do this. I think I'm gonna glue it there first. Hot dun 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 hot dun, hot Oh that feels good. Hold on. Okay, so that'll be the middle of it. Okay, it's point set. Sesha? Like Wikipedia I don't have that microphone thing so you could pronounce it. <laughs> Which I really want to. Please. Someone pronounce it for me. This is about making those. 
And those leaves are big. So let me see if I fold twice, would it become big, pointy, whatever. I'm looking at the leaves online. And no. So this is. Mm -hmm. This is a third. I think this is big here. I think this is big enough. It's not many petals, I don't think. And I think it's layered in petals as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it here. But that's going to be the middle line for all the petals. If I can find it back. There you go. So there's that line. There's my interbred. So looking at it, it's kind of... I'm just going to put a line here. It's fat on the bottom. And pointy on top. No, I have to find a way to focus this. Oh, you did it. So it's fat on the bottom and pointy on top. Okay, I'm afraid to unwrap it. And also, I want to be more pointy at the tip. To learn from that. Let me bend, bend it. I got the pedal parts. Which is a bad idea because some will come out backwards. <laughs> I'll bend it both ways. Okay. I'm going to cut the bottom here. Let's see it. Ooh, it's pretty. And since it's multiple layers, I could turn it. Does that look like one? So let's glue these together first. You know, you can make a batch that has bigger leaves and you could put it on the bottom. But this is just to see how it'll look first. And this one will go between that one. But for this, which will be tricky, I don't know how I'm going to do it. How the bottom looks. Okay, I think I see how I'm going to do it. First, I'm going to do it on the two sides here. Too much hot glue. Don't put as much as I did there. Glue it to the side. If it will bend without burning me. The side of the flower. I mean, mold the thing there. All the way up there. And that one here too. So it's like that. And then do the same side on this. And try not to get the glue everywhere. How does that look? For my first one, not bad other than this glue being here. I obviously want the pointy to be on the bottom, but since I'm going to be cutting it, I might as well put the pointy down below. So let's cut this one. That's the sound of my dog trotting. <sighs> Perfect. I want to see how far it went, and it does go all the way through. I don't know, maybe put a crystal on top if you want, but I'm trying to make it look realistic, so. I'm just going to put some glue at the tip of it. Just a tip. And that glue will slide all the way through and stop where you stop. I mean, the petal's very dense, so. Right, let's do. I think we could just do 
two folds. It's pretty. I wish it was more green, but it's pretty. That looks pretty good. So I'll go into images. Alright, so the yellow, this is actually supposed to be green. So I'm going to mix in some green in there and some yellow here. We're going to start with the yellow first. You start with the lightest color, so when I do green, I can mix it in here instead of green to yellow, you know? So it's very watery. Now here's my practice sheet. You see how much yellow it is? We want it to be paler than that. We're adding more water. You can add white to it if you want, but mm, it's a bit too much time. Also, when it dries, it gets lighter as well. So I have my nice water mix. A few dabs. And then go in like that. You could also go with a drier brush. You could dab on a towel and then go in drier and it will, will dry faster since it's not a dab damp of water like that. It's more of a wash. Okay, so I'm here to make the fillers. It's the same floating the first time. Put another fold this way. And another fold this way. And another fold this way. And I think I did it really, really fast there. Let me do it a little bit more even as I can. I don't know. Oh, that's why. In here it was indented. Why must you play me? I'm gonna cut it this way. This reminds me of like Japanese origami or Anything Japanese related where they're like so detailed with their their stuff. Like something made out of paper or something made out of chocolate or sugar. That looks like glass. Things like that. Just have it around their house. You know you can eat that door handle. It's actually <laughs> Okay, this one definitely the long screw. I like to spread it. I don't like to use a bubble. When it's a bubble, it could spread and then kill you. <laughs> when it's spread out, it doesn't burn as much. See what's going on there? You see what's going on there? Look what's going on there. Mrs. Dog, you don't have to move every two seconds. Also, when you spread it, it dries faster. And fast enough for you to go and reach it before it dries. And this coffee filter like glues instantly against this um this glue gun glue. I think that's where I would start this. I could warm that back up and put this here. And just wrap around that and then come back down. This is very relaxing and fun. Okay, so it's time. Just a tip. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be harder. But for 99 cents, I have enough for this whole thing. I don't know why I bought so much. I'm used to like something being like a dollar or something, just having like 
you know, 12 inches on it, like duct tape or something. Cut that a little deeper. I think um, with less folds as well, it'll be longer, you know, and sort of like short and spiky. I kind of want to try that as well. Here they are. It looks like rock candy as well. They both look cute. I just suspect this one to be more full. But I think because I didn't cut them all the way down and um, they're not as long. I feel like taking a comb and separating them because <laughs> they're so dense. That's, that's the word. They're so dense to separate each and every one of them that you feel like you want to comb to comb them out. It's so cool. Amazing what color can do. Like, you could even start with yellow and then tip it off with some orange. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. It looks... It actually looks like... A flower. I just don't know what kind of flower, and it's not dry yet. So this is gonna dry lighter, a little bit lighter, and just kind of blend in with everything. And since this green has a hint of blue, it will have a little bit of blue inside of it. So it looks like the first born of a um of a flower. You know, it always start a green when it's white, and then goes to white. I'm trying to see. Also, my dog sat in some barbecue sauce, and I was wondering why I was smelling barbecue sauce this whole time. It was her. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, thank you for watching this. Oh, I could pick my nail. Thank you for watching this um holiday whatever. Even though it might be New Year's, I post this. Hopefully, I surprise myself and post this when it's supposed to post. Um, I think I will be making all of these, but mostly this, so I could do a gradient of other colors. Maybe I'll do it in red. And it'll be white to red. I don't know. I don't know what kind of bouquet I'm making. It depends on the flower. So I'll be back with the flowers. Cotton candy. This looks like cotton candy. It does look like cotton candy. So I'll be back. So last night I worked for additional uh, four to six hours. And this was the first one I did, remember? With these and that. Here's the bouquet, and I'm I'm definitely making these as well. I decided to make some filler flowers, and boy, this is I, I'm not sure if you've seen me do this. This one is oh, the color you can't see the color. It's it's like a nice I don't know, like it's a sun bursting out. It's pink on the outside, yellow here, but the yellow makes in it makes in it. It's not like my mom making it, you know, look like it's like it's glowing. It looks like it's glowing. So I think I'm gonna make white one of these to match with this or something. Or I should just make a bunch of these. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Trini, what's going on with your butt? You're sitting somewhere. And this is how far I come. At first when you're doing it, it it looks for me it looks crappy, kinda like how this is, but when they're all together in one, it looks more realistic because it's not perfect flowers. And it doesn't look like plastic, so it looks real, but then you know it's not real, but you're like, but what is it? Is it more delicate flowers? It's something like that. So these are so much more better than plasticky um, flowers like this. You know? Let's leave. It looks like it's dying, but that's, that's, I don't know. I like the dying effect in some of them. There was a really, really brown one that I had. I think I mixed it with some others, but I feel like that. And that makes it more realistic and it's still you stand from far and it's still amazing. Okay. So this is it. It doesn't look good under the chandelier. Look at it. Look at my creation. I did it. I, I kinda gave up because I'm tired and my stomach hurts, so I meant to go take a nap. Not to worry, but this is even behind it. I know I'm like sitting all red though because it's not Christmas. But oh god, dog on the floor. <laughs> That's my father in the back. But 
first bouquet I ever made. And God, can you imagine like two times the size if you have like a longer whatever and you just poke it in? And it'll be a nice sized log, I guess. I still have one more material to finish more, but um, I got tired. This would be a nice product to do like throughout the week and then when you finish like your whole whatever. That's good compared to that big flower right there. Not bad. Not bad. Adorable moment. So thank you for watching. Stop being so adorable, please. Thank you. Good girl. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little project, my little Christmas project. Holiday project. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, I don't want to stop recording this. How close you recognize this paper from far, you're like, oh. Well, you know, you still recognize this paper, but it's beautiful paper. Okay, so, anyway. Bye. Bye.